What's up, nerds? <laughs> What's up, you guys? Uh, so I'm gonna do a room tour and uh, see how this one goes. Today is what's today? What's today? Today is July 21st and uh, 2024, and get to go over a room tour. But let's check this out really quick, yeah. So I asked in the chat what you guys wanted to see and all that stuff. Uh, so I had some requests. I'm just reading over really quick. It says, Alan says, can you drop a link? Well, I'll go over the stuff everyone asked in a little bit. Let's check out this room tour. Oh, look at that. I feel like I'm in the episode of Cribs. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's check it out. The door's open. For some reason, but yeah, I'll give you a, a quick overview and then we'll go through each piece little by little and everything else. Dang, that looks, I swear sometimes on camera it is, it's something sexy. In person, of course it's beautiful, but on camera it just looks cool. For the most part, everything stayed the same. I added a couple of things here and there and uh looks good i think it's definitely coming a long way from like the first uh room tour but for the most part too it's like the same so i will start off with my good guys so my good guys actually let's get to the questions really quick and then we'll answer those and then we'll get the hell out of here uh alan sai says can you drop a link in the video to your alpha shell spec so the alpha system that i use it's like i think I'm, i've mentioned in the comment right like so it's custom so all this is like custom like uh they don't like custom uh cut them or anything like that it's just an assembly of of all their parts put together and they actually do it for you too so the lady that helped me design this whole thing i told her like the weight everything that's gonna be put on top of it and like the space I needed and she did it all in the uh, 3D drawing program and this is like done years ago too and I redid it and I did it my own way and it's pretty cool like uh, they help you out with that so Alan I don't know if that helps you but like uh, yeah it's all custom right there like uh, one two three four there's four shelves up top four shelves in the middle uh, four one two three four five columns and the top you'll see the uh basically where all the weight is uh being help held up with a bunch of anchors back there of course but i want to get to the next uh question it says delvis says that corner is fire <laughs> looks crazy what is the new layout so the new layout thanks delvis the new layout will be uh let's see i'll show you on this side i guess uh, okay so there's not much of a like big statue thing going on but i noticed like with each cube each you know little spot right there i could add like a little what i'm what i'm gonna call a little uh mural or a little thing for like i had all, like all my thanos like in there and that in the little uh little spot right there but now what i'm gonna do is like just start dedicating these cubes to like little Little, little nostalgia pieces, right? So this would be my like little goofy little area. This would be my anime little area. This will be my little predator little area. Uh, I think I already have some stuff already. Like I have my, I'm gonna grow this Batman shelf and uh, put them all together. Uh, the, and then like, I guess the idea will be turn all these, uh, all these empty cubes into uh, little shelf setups within the cube. And, uh, Adds, add, uh, add these glass thick doors to each part. So like, take these drawers out, put those glass thick doors. So that's going to be the new layout. Everything else up top for the quarter scales and the third scales is going to remain the same. Uh, at least for now. But let's get to the next question. The next question is... Joe Miller says, I can't wait. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Uh, Jeffrey says, man, looking great, Steve. If you could at, at the end, maybe speak on the pieces that you want to finish out the collection or upcoming pieces coming to the collection. So 
as far as statues, like, uh, I am looking forward to, uh, Daniel Belly's new piece, uh, Sideshow Magneto. So I'm planning to either put him here, depending on, like, you know, the, the measurements. And if that doesn't work out, I may have to put him up there and then move these guys down here. But uh, those are the only two right now. <laughs> and like those are the only two that are announced or like in the plans. Uh, other than that, on my third scale side, I am going to be adding the Green Lantern right there. The Prime 1 Green Lantern and then hopefully the Prime 1 Flash and then like the LBS uh, Martian Manhunter. So not a lot of pieces on this side because this room is small too and it's... <laughs> there, there's a lot of work to be done uh, other than that those are the only pieces I'm, I'm not trying to collect everything it's just what can get what can fit in this room basically uh next question or next thing was brian jenkins says looking good thanks man uh marginalini says little more time to give for hawkman and sideshow juggernauts what are your thoughts for those two pieces I think that those two statues can't be beaten, at least for me. Statues that can't be upgraded maybe could be repainted, although it doesn't have to. Let's check it out. So I got this, uh, as you guys know, this is the uh, Iron Studios Hawkman. I got this uh, as a local pickup and this does come out with like both. Uh, this comes with like the open wing and the closed wing. I. Like I said, I don't have much space in here, <laughs> so I do use like, you know, both and uh, I really like it. So it's very, 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 uh, uh, what's the word? It takes up a lot of space, <laughs> both like in width and then in height. Like I forgot to measure it, but it's definitely up there in height. And it's very detailed too, like uh, from the wings being like extremely like long, I would say it's like at least 24 to 30 inches long on each side. So, and these are like bendable too. So it's not bendable, but I have a little give to them. But he looks great. Like you could see like, looks really, really cool. The portrait is cool. I do wish like it came with like an extra uh, swap out portrait, but you know, maybe there'll be a crazy seam line. But he looks great. Here's the clothes wing. Look at the clothes wing. There's detail even in the clothes wing like crazy. But like something like a lot of people I feel like don't talk about is the cool base as well. gives you a little bit of like an Egyptian feel or I forget what where he's from exactly but a little little nice touch to the to the base and then you said juggernaut right so juggernaut is one of my favorite characters I do have him in the Bowen right there that's my first statue ever and uh, I got this one as a local pickup as well so I got really lucky with that it's two boxes for a sideshow piece so and uh, as you guys can see, like here, let me see if I can take the portrait off for you. I don't know if you guys ever knew this, but like, or seen this, but it is very, very detailed for, <laughs> for being a piece that you can't even see. Like there's a whole full sculpted portrait in there. The hair and everything's there, it's crazy. Really, really cool piece. And uh, everything, there. <laughs> it looks so weird without like the portrait, right? But here, let me put them back really quick. Ugh. Cool. Yeah, this one's great as well. Like the, the muscle definition, the like texture they use for the skin and the armor and stuff. Huge, huge piece. Like for being quarter scale, it's huge. The base is cool, it's the danger room and stuff like that, and like a little bit of like the mansion on the bottom. Um, it, it's, it's cool, it's just like the sub base is kind of weird to me. But I'm sure they put that to, you know, hold Juggernaut. 
but yeah, th there's a lot going on with this piece. It's a really cool piece. I'll probably do a review on it eventually, but yeah, good question, man, because that one is one of my one of my favorite pieces that like I don't talk about too often. So thanks, Marjolini, for your question. Let's see what else I got. Uh, Anthony says, I love the entire collection, but I can get double takes of the X and Dark Phoenix. Hell yeah. So X and Dark Phoenix, I got a really cool deal from our guy, Ethan. So shout out to Ethan for hooking it up. Thanks, man. I haven't forgotten you and uh, hopefully everything is going well with the new kid. So yeah, man, like <laughs> it's like a lot of people's grail and uh, there's no question about it, right? it is stunning like from like the whole concept of like uh dark phoenix uh enveloped in flames and like the phoenix just you know being her part part of her power showing it in like this base like it's pretty 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 amazing uh i love the whole concept but then like you know a lot of pieces don't get like the female figures or female statues correct but this is uh this is amazing <laughs> that's a cool piece i'll pro i'll definitely do a review on her too like i should do a review on all these pieces and just do like a six month increment or something of what, what i think about it but uh yeah man so now i'm gonna get to the room tour and we'll talk about each piece a little a little bit but big shout out to you guys for the questions and uh let's get to the tour all right so i'm gonna go over my villain uh villains and then we'll go into my uh, good guys another side real quick and then we'll get to the villains and then i'll give you your overall thing again um uh, so this little display is like a little little prototype of what I'm trying to get uh, working. Uh, I love Thanos on Throne. <laughs> As I, I feel like a lot of you guys know, like there, there's a ton of swap bots that I've accumulated throughout the years and uh, I'm loving it, man. Like, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so this is King Thanos. It's a, it's a custom one, so I don't think they're making it anymore. So there's that one. There's Old Man Thanos, really cool piece. And here is uh, Venomized Thanos. I know a lot of people are tired of Venomized at anything, but uh, I had to get this one. <laughs> and uh, here is the sideshow of Thanos on Throne, a uh, regular portrait right there. Still, still holds up baby and then uh, we are getting to the Thanos like little little section uh, this is another custom uh, all of this came together all of this this whole thing came together but look at the detail on this this thing is heavy really heavy really really detailed on this guy comes with these guys too these are actually pretty detailed too like they have they have some uh, some juice in there. Really, really cool. It, I think it goes to Thanos on Throne, but I mixed it up with... Uh, uh, I mean, I, I think it goes with Doom on Throne. I'm sorry. I just mixed it up with the Thanos. But look at the detail on like these, these uh, pieces right here. Really, really cool. Really, really detailed, man. It's like detail on top of detail. The little tesseract, I thought that was a pretty cool touch. And then up there we got XM Studios Lady Death. I love this piece and I didn't, like, I feel like I could get her by herself because like how, like the flow of the cape is pretty amazing. The, the portrait is beautiful. And the whole statue is just awesome. The only nitpick or the only gripe I have with this thing is like it's really, really tall. <laughs> and like posing her and just posing her is really, really tough too. Like her cape is hiding her face from her right, her right side. So if you were to put her out on, the, you know, another shelf, it's kind of hard to display. But other than that, she's beautiful. Uh, we're going to get into Thanos now. So here is... 
fan amps, uh, customized, venomized, uh, th th Thanos gauntlet. That was cool. And this, in case you're wondering, this is the Sideshow emblem. Sideshow, I think, still sells them. I'm looking for the for the variant. So if you guys have one of those, let me know. But uh, or if you have any more of these, like that'd be cool too. They they only allow you to buy one. So if you have an extra one, let me know. Or if you don't want yours, I mean. Uh, going back to Thanos, this is the gauntlet from XM Studios. Uh, Thanos, uh, shout out books. Books hooked it up with this one. So thanks, man. And as everyone knows, this is the sideshow Thanos on Throne. Uh, a lot of detail on this piece, even from like, I feel like this is one of the coolest things. Like the, how he's just like destroying that skull right there. Really cool. And the cool thing too about this is like, it shows that skull, but then it shows this skull as well. Like, Look at the damage he, like, <laughs> I love that. And then, like, the whole spaceship. I I'll get into, like, a review with this one, too. So, really cool piece. And uh, shout out to our guy, uh, Luke, from Australia. Hooked it up with this piece. Uh, I feel like <laughs> this is just, like, a cool piece I'll never, ever uh, sell or get rid of, most likely. Just, like... It's a piece that I've been like looking for forever, but then for someone to like sell me theirs and like reach out to me, I was like, that's cool. So shout out to Luke. Uh, this one is the Emma Frost from XM Studios. The paint is like superb on this thing. It's like that pearl looking like a uh, paint they use right there. I want to speed up a little bit. I feel like the video is getting too long. <laughs> But this is the Emma Frost. Beautiful, beautiful portrait. I know a lot of people don't like this piece. Like, it's either they love it, it's a grail, or it's just not for them. But, uh, cool piece. And we just spoke about this one, so I'll go through this really quick. Another beautiful piece. Really, really beautiful piece. XM Studios Dark Phoenix. And then, uh, this one is a showstopper for me because I sold it and bought it again. <laughs> because I, I was getting rid of X-Men and when I decided just to get uh, villains, it really worked out. I mean, I didn't need this back. <laughs> so here is my top shelf. Really cool pieces. Now going to the lower level, so my arm could rest a little bit, <laughs> is the XM Studios Red Hulk. Really, really massive piece. Pause. Little sandbags, his little hat, his glasses is somewhere around there. But uh, yeah, really, really, really detailed piece, man. Look at that, look at those muscles, man. Look at those muscles. Dang. And this guy doesn't need to show off his muscles in order to get like <laughs> anything. Uh, Sideshow Studio, oh, Sideshow Studio, Sideshow Collectibles, Sideshow whatever. Uh, Doom. Beautiful, beautiful piece. The crazy part for me has been always been like in person. I don't know how they got like that. The paint is really cool in this one. It looks like metal almost, like at different angles, like the way it spotlights the 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 sh the shading and everything it, like they captured it perfect the sculpt is like by daniel bell of course which helps and everything but really really cool piece uh this is another piece that i i really really like love to see every single day like i get i come in here it's the xm studios uh ultron it's really really compact i put it on like a riser because he's kind of short compared to the other guys so the riser actually helps uh, a thing that I really like too about this thing is th this stuff swivels. So you could have them like looking like that, and you could have them looking like that, or you could have them looking like that, or the way I like it is like that. Give them that uh, Randy Orton look. <laughs> uh, we talked about this one as well, like uh, the Sideshow uh, Juggernaut. Really, really, really cool piece. Like. 
I could say really a couple more times and still not be enough, <laughs> but a really cool piece. And that does it for my villain wall. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into my uh, good guys. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. I have the Shazam art print. I might just like put it together because I hate this empty space, but I need to start collecting the rest of them, but I'm still waiting for the Flash, Green Lantern, and uh, Martian Manhunter, so. I feel like discipline has paid off more than patience for me. <laughs> it just, just gotta, gotta be disciplined, man. But here is, as we spoke about earlier, the Iron Studios uh, Hawkman. And uh, amazing. I kind of want to like redo his armor to brighten it up a little bit, but I don't, I don't know if I should touch it up or anything or have it touched up. I don't paint, so I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, really, really amazing piece. Uh, as you guys know, this is the uh, DK3. I feel like this one's a little bit older now. It definitely doesn't look like it in person, like older. <laughs> it's just like a beast, man. Uh, like what a beast. I was scared about like the wings in the back of like the, the bottom pieces was just gonna stick out too much, but luckily, I made some room and now it looks badass. Uh, I got this one signed by, uh, what's his name? Uh, Frank Miller. So uh, I got really lucky with that. So uh, I might see him again. So I might, might have him sign another one for me. So it'd be really cool to see. But yeah, that's the Prime One DK3. And here is the. Prime One Studios Superman Hush. It's I. <laughs> no, it's a cool piece. Like uh, this is like the number one piece that whenever someone comes in here, it just like stops by and just wants to know a ton about it. Like they get closer and closer and closer. And I don't know if it's like the the whole look of Superman like floating or if the sculpted cape uh, helps with the whole thing, but really really solid piece it just shows you like the character is supposed to be the one like you know standing out from the statue like sometimes like it's really cool uh here is the prime one studios uh wonder woman beautiful beautiful piece i got this one signed by uh what's his name fabak and uh really nice guy too i got to meet him for at Philadelphia, in Philadelphia, and really, really nice guy. Mm, the Hydras. Yeah, I'll be doing reviews on most of these pieces, like starting this, like coming couple couple days, and because there's a lot to talk about, right? Like room tour, I feel like just go over it little by little or tidbits and stuff, but. I should do a review on these guys pretty soon. Uh, next to her, we have Aquaman from Prime One Studios as well. This is amazing. Okay, so something I really love about this is like the armor. The armor and the paint job they did, there's like a lot of like texture, a lot of detail. The armor freaking pops. Like the armor, like they use the orange armor, they use like a gold plated like belt around him and just just shows you what like statues are capable of, right? Look at those pants, man. They like freaking shine, baby. Really cool piece. Uh, the water effect uh, I really like too. Like goes all almost all around the whole base, and the base is very detailed as well with like everything going on there. It's, like it looks like the corals or whatever they call them. Uh, the, the broken pillar, really cool piece. Yeah, I'll do another, I'll do a review on this one for definitely. But yeah, th this is my good guy shelf and uh, hopefully it stops growing, pause. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, this is the corner, like it's a small ass room too. So it's I'm just trying to work with like what I got in this room and I don't want it like to be too much in here too. So, but uh, yeah, it's my good guy shelf. I'll show you a couple angles. I love this angle. You can see everything right there. And then there's this angle right here. There's like this angle, like when I uh, walk into the room, but I catch myself sometimes going like, duh, look at that shit. 
<laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get to my bow. Okay, so this is my bow and shelf, or this is where I work from too, like where this is where I stream from, this is where I do most of everything from. Uh, let's get to the bones, and then I'll talk about the desk later. 